Uh, I'd like to welcome all of the military leaders who are joining us uh, here today. Uh, from the Marine Corps Installation Command, Major uh, General Vincent Colonnese. From Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, of course you all know uh, Colonel Dockery. Uh, from Naval Facilities Southwest, Captain Mark Edelson. Around here somewhere, right, right, right here. Yep. And, uh, and, uh, and, and many others who are, are joining us here today. As, as I think all of you know, San Diego is a very proud military town. We boast the largest group of active duty and retired military personnel in the world. We're proud of that. We've also been great partners as the military ex has expanded here in San Diego over the past century. Today we're here to announce the next evolution in that partnership, which I'm going to get to in just a second. Technology is moving forward at a very rapid pace, and it's important for public agencies to be on the cutting edge for one simple reason, so we can deliver results for our constituents. Here at the City of San Diego, we have implemented, implemented several advanced technologies to improve city operations, customer service, and public safety since I took office. We've launched an open data portal with loads of data sets for the public to pursue and use. We have an online portal to make it easier to ask for and receive public records. We've installed over 3,000 smart streetlights that reduce energy costs and help optimize traffic, improve public safety, and track air quality. And of course, we launched the Get It Done smartphone app that allows San Diegans to easily report problems with GPS data. San Diego was recently named one of the world's smartest cities by National Geographic magazine in 2015, the only city in North America that was selected for that honor. And just last year, as I think many of you know, we were selected to participate in a pilot program by the U.S. Department of Transportation to advance testing of unmanned aircraft systems. And today, we are very happy to announce that the City of San Diego and the Marine Corps Installations Command will enter into a new Memorandum of Understanding to work together on smart city technologies as partners going forward. We will be meeting regularly to discuss smart city issues and as a start, develop action plans related to security, mobility, and public works. And I know that the Marine Corps has, has a particular interest in unmanned aerial systems and will be advocating to add the Marines to our list of 20 plus regional partners working on that pilot program. And I also know, of course, we were just talking about it with the general outside, the Marines have an interest in the city's Get It Done app and possibly utilizing that some way on their basis. This is all about collaborating for the betterment of the entire San Diego region. Uh, and that's why I'm so proud of today's uh, signing ceremony. What we will do is we will share our experiences, we will share as we discover uh, uses for data together, and share how advanced technology can benefit the people that we both serve. We're going to have the formal signing in just a second, but first I wanted to uh, welcome um, to the microphone, no stranger to San Diego, who's doing a, a great job, uh, has been for <coughs> numerous years and for our country. Uh, please uh, in, help me welcome Major General Vincent Colonnese. General, thank welcome. You, thank you, Mayor. Hey, uh, it's great to be back in San Diego. I want to thank the Mayor's uh, leadership on this effort. Um, smart cities, we call it Installation Next. The only way we're going to get there is, is building this ecosystem of people who are doing these things and to learn from, especially on the civilian sector. We're after the same things, uh, whether it's customer service, resiliency, uh, protection of our bases. Uh, Miramar is actually leading the way, especially on resiliency. Once the microgrid's done, we'll be able to operate that base through a methane draw from the uh, wasteland uh, that's, that's used by the city. And that base will be able to have its power on regardless uh, if DISCO or cyber type of attack and we'll be able to not only help the nation in developing combat power, but in, in support of uh, defense civilian authorities, uh, the base there can help the community. And you know we do that, at, whether it's Camp Pendleton with the fires, using our aircraft. And we want to have that resiliency on our base, like at all our bases. So we welcome this, this, uh, this partnership, learning from uh, San Diego, and hopefully we can uh, share some of our lessons learned uh, throughout the 24 installations that the Marine Corps owns is very, very important for generating combat power and the security of this nation and to support the community, like I said, in time of uh, defense civilian authorities. 
if you just look at Camp Lejeune, Cherry Point recently, the hurricane and the disaster that happened there, resiliency was very important in supporting the community. We did high water rescues, saving people, we set up shelters on bases. We're proud of supporting the community because we're part of the community. We live there, we're the school teachers, our family members, we're, our kids go to your schools, uh, so we're part of San Diego. And I'll end with this, when we were out here, I used to be the commanding general of Camp Pendleton and uh, the region. Um, very, very proud of my time here uh, on the West Coast. And we always consider San Diego a very, very special place because of the relationship uh, the mayor and his team has with the military, specifically the Marine Corps. So, Mayor, thank you for the invite today. I look forward to signing the MOU. Thank you, General. Thank you. Uh, before we get to the, the signing ceremony, any uh, quick questions we can answer? And I also wanted to uh, uh, introduce, uh, I think many of you know, Eric Caldwell, our uh, Deputy Chief Operating Officer, has really helped to spearhead this. Awesome. Now, what will the drones be used for? How will they be used? Eric, you want to, on the unmanned systems, go ahead. Or General? So, so, so I'll just say, for the Marine Corps, I mean, unmanned systems, um, we think on our bases, uh, we can use for logistical support. Uh, you can use uh, tether drones for surveillance. <laughs> uh, you can use it for communications. Um, we, we have large bases and gaps. If you look at Camp Pendleton, look at 17 miles of water. Um, trying to set up digital fence uh, and, and being able to know where drones are, civilian drones too. So we're doing some experimentation on, on, on right now with some systems on, on Miramar to be able to pick up drones. So when they're flying experiments, uh, station, let's say they're delivering pizza, uh, that we want to know if that drone is a friendly drone, if it's registered with the FAA, and, and, and just distinguish friend or foe because uh, we're concerned about, um, especially hobbyists, flying drones on, a, on an airfield where you have F-35s taken off and could literally uh, destroy an aircraft or take down an aircraft. So it, 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 those are some of the efforts. Um, so I think the things the city learns, we'll learn, and we need to cooperate together so we don't have that kind of accident that could happen on one of our installations. And that, Brandon, you want to say anything on yeah. Just a quick note. So. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Brandon Newell. So we've been working with the city on the FAA UAS drone uh, integration pilot program. And some of the con ops that the FAA has approved for the city <coughs> are first responder support, like what's happening in Chula Vista, um, air package delivery, uh, which is happening with the partner of Uber in the region. And so we've been able to learn from the city's uh, progression with these industries and with the FAA. And we're looking to leverage that relationship even further. Thank you. Ed, did you have a question? idea came from in terms of partnering with the military on this? Is it based on something out of Washington or another city or who came up with the idea? I'll, I'll speak to that briefly. I think first and foremost we've had a long partnership with the Marine Corps and the Navy here in the region as it relates to, to operations. When you think about the bases in the general, I think did an excellent job of talking about bases and what he outlined was it's a place where people work, it's a place where people live, it's a place where people recreate, and those borders connect directly to the city of San Diego as well. So whether it's the Get It Done app and having that streamless, you can report an issue, whether you're along the road in the city of San Diego and then go on to the base and use the same tool and the same infrastructure to report issues to, to base command. That just makes good sense as people move through the urban environment and start their journey on the base and then move to a location in the city of San Diego, being able to navigate using one tool and figure out traffic information. So historically, there's just been a long um, line of communication and cooperation of thinking about the military's assets here as um, part of the community, and this continues on that journey. Well said. Well said. And I would just say, this partnership that you said really well existed for kind of years informally. Last time I was here with the chamber and, and the mayor's team, I said, why don't we memorialize it and put an MOU out there so it's not personally personally driven by me or the mayor that it's memorialized and, and, and institutionalized and then we kind of come up with metrics and, uh, and work together. So that was just, you know, threw it out there and the mayor's team said, hey, we'll do it right away. So I, th I thank the mayor. I think this, this is going to be an example for other cities that want to get there to partner with the military in a, in a formal way. Okay, let's sign it. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. I guess we'll leave it right here. So we're going to do it. Okay, sure. <coughs>
spacious table. <laughs> <laughs> Good Never it's just a little boy's table. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. Um, Everybody will be available for one. I'll be available for any questions one on one. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Appreciate your leadership. <coughs> thank you. Yeah. Sure. Mayor, thanks again. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. How you doing? Good. We're busy in the Southwest. Good. 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 Good.